All right, so the last thing I want to talk about in this unit on sequences and series is um, infinite, infinite series, and in particular, infinite geometric series. Because something kind of interesting happens when you analyze these. And, um, and so that's what this video is going to kind of draw your attention to. Now, I'm reusing a, an example that we looked at in the last video, so rather than kind of rederive everything, I just want to remind you that we came up with... Um, so first thing I want to do also is I'm going to write this in sigma notation. This can be written as... In sigma notation, go, k goes from 1 to... And actually, I'm not going to put an n there, because we're adding up an infinite number of terms, so I'm going to put an infinity there. Okay, and the closed form rule for that sequence we d discovered was was that, and we came up with a formula for the one that uh, was a finite one. So pay attention here to what I put up up at the top. I'm going to put an n there. We came up with a formula for that. So I'm going to put g of n. We used s in the last video, but it's the same thing. 16 times 1 half to the k minus 1. So just a reminder, we found that this was equal to, in the last video, 2 times 16 minus 16 times 1 half to the n. All right, this is like our closed form rule. So if we wanted to find the sum of the first two terms, I'd plug in a 2 for n, and I'd get an answer. If I wanted to find the sum of the first five terms, I'd plug in five. Sum of the first 200 terms, I'd plug in 200, etc. So for an infinite geometric series, we are going to, quote, plug in infinity. Now, infinity is an idea, it's not a number. Nevertheless, I'm going to just plug it in to give you a sense of what's, um, what happens when you actually try to add up an infinite number of terms in this geometric sequence here. Something sort of interesting happens. Technically what you're doing is you're, you're not plugging in infinity, you're, you're just continually plugging in big numbers and you're noting, you're taking note of what those answers are approaching. So the word to think about, and when you talk more about calculus, you'll, you'll use this word a lot, is the word limit. Okay, what's the limit as n goes to infinity? But for now I'm just going to actually plug in infinity. So g of infinity equals 2 times 16 minus 16 times 1 half to the infinity. And so this is the interesting thing that happens. The only interesting thing to, to analyze in this, this expression is that 16 times 1 half to the infinity. So how do we make sense of 1 half to the infinity? Well, just imagine multiplying a half times a half times a half over and over again what kind of number are you producing? You're producing an incredibly small number, and in fact, as you keep doing that, right, and as you do it for bigger and bigger numbers, um, you're going to notice that the, the numbers start to approach zero. And so what we can say, for all intents and purposes, is that this is equal to zero. Right? It's 16 times a number that's basically zero, and in the long run is approaching zero. And so what happens is that this becomes 2 times 16, minus 0, which is 2 times 16, which is 32. So we would say that this, um, the word we use actually is we'd say that this infinite geometric series converges, converges to 32. Um, if you look at the last video, you'll notice that when we plugged in 20, we got a number like 31.999 something. So the idea is that the bigger the, the, the bigger the n value you plug in, the closer that sum is going to get to 32. And so as n approaches infinity, you're approaching 32. So we would just say that this equals uh, equals 32. So on the next page, I'm going to define what an infinite series is in an infinite geometric series. So an infinite series will appear like this in sigma notation. So
So again, no notice the infinity up here in that upper, is that upper, uh, upper value. And then an infinite geometric series, well, that just means that your sequence here is geometric. All right, and so what we'll learn is that So some infinite series approach a finite number, some infinite geometric series approach a finite number, and we use the word converge. And we saw that in the last page, right? It converged to 32, and some don't. And we would use the word diverge. And I'm going to tell you to see next video. For an example of one of those.